There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Whoa, spoiler alert. Instead, this is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Let's browse this bad boy and get some answers. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. 
Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. I'd love to do a whole big rig photo series. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, a tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Morning. Don't ask. For I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these Blackwell spoiled shit. Like that other loser I'd see around here, Rachel. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> Actually, 
I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel? She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you-know-who-know-whats. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. So ominous. Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. No need to go there now. No need to go there now. <coughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You eat like a pig. 
Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. What the fuck now? Right? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Your sugar daddy will always protect you, and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you if you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. <coughs> Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. What the fuck now? By the way, friend. <laughs> but. But nothing. <laughs> 